Hi everyone, it's Kenzie Knox, and today I'm going to be painting a little sailboat painting in the sunset with a bunch of pastel colors, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm working on an 11 by 14 flat panel canvas that's been primed with gesso. I'm painting over an old painting that I didn't quite like. Um, I'll be starting off with brilliant purple, rose, pink, lemon yellow, titanium white, phthalo green, prussian blue, light permanent blue, and light blue violet. So add those to your palette and let's get going. So I did this painting in time lapse and so obviously you can tell that by the speed of the painting. I thought this would be a lot easier so I could just sit back, relax, and paint since it took me several hours to complete. This way I can get you guys paintings a lot faster and a lot quicker than normal. But obviously I, I painted in the sky using pastel colors and then I painted in the foliage in the background and then began sketching in the boat followed by painting in the seawater. I painted in the reflections of the trees in the background, the reflections of the boat, and then went around the boat and added in some details. All of these colors are in pastel, just keep that in mind, meaning that they're very whitened down, meaning use a lot of white paint with a little bit of colored paint. I used a lot of the pinks and the yellows and the blues and the cobalt blues and the light blue violets on the ship. And in the sky, I started with the blues on top followed by some aqua, and then yellows, and then the pinks, and I skipped the orange altogether. Usually I add orange into the sunset, but this time I didn't. I used Prussian blue along the bottom of the boat and in the water for the reflection, and I eventually added in some aqua into the water down below, in the pink areas, and all over actually in the green reflections, and in the um, even the reflection of the boat areas too. I finished off by adding a buoy next to the boat, hanging off the boat, and then a buoy where the boat was anchored to on the side, on the right side right there that you can see I'm adding little ropes to it. You can slow down this painting if you'd like um, using the YouTube gear tool in the upper right hand corner if you need to. I finished off this painting using sunstrokes, um, sun rays I guess you could call it. But yeah, overall I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. I know I did. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye!